How's it going guys? R Triple X C aka the Raging Cajun here. And I told you Bakugan fans that I would still do Bakugan content. So guess what? I got Bakugan. <laughs> uh, I said previously that my stores have not been restocking, and that still reigns true. Uh, but this was the first instance of these guys that I found. So these are the Target exclusive, right? So only at Target. Um uh, fancy, uh, weird, uh, different, like, collector painted, uh, fusions, um, and, or, uh, well, these are the fusions, these are the cores. Uh, this is Dragon Onilius, which is the one I was really more excited about, um, but this one has the, um, I don't even know who this is, Halcor Ramparian and Pegatrix Gillator. Uh, so, these are gonna be really cool, and we're gonna take a quick look at them. Um, I'm really just getting these for the models, because uh, I really like the paint jobs on these two here. Card-wise, I'm fairly certain that ne any of these are very good. I think the Nilius can do things with rapid fire. I don't know. Uh, but uh, we're going to break these open, and we're going to take like a really good look at all four of them. And, uh, you know, it's going to be really cool. I'm going to try this setup here so I can give you a good look with this camera, um, instead of the normal tabletop thing we used to do. If y'all don't like it, tell me. I can go back to the tabletop, but I think we'll... Uh, get a way better look at things here. So uh, I'm going to break open uh, these guys first and we'll end on the finale with these guys. So I'll see you after I open this. All right, so again, uh, we are looking at Pegatrix Gillator and Halcor Ramparian. Um, we're going to take a really close look at these in a second. Uh, first, I want to cover the other things that come with it. We get some Baku cores, all right? So we get some Green Fists, uh, a Red Shield, and a Helix, um, and the Helix is going to be your Fusion 300B and your, uh, what is it, and plus two Frost Strike, so very cool, uh, and your Shield is going to be your Fusion plus 500, uh, so that means uh, if you're fused, you get 500 on this, if you're not fused, you don't get anything, which is kind of dumb, but you know, it's a thing. Uh, fist is a 50 plus 2, which sucks, and a plus 1 uh, attack, which sucks. So, uh, core-wise, don't go hunting for this thing at all. Uh, now we got some cards, so let's get a zoom in here. Alright, so we have Halcor Ramparian. It is a Helix and a Green Fist, and it's going to be 500B and 6 attack, uh, and it costs 4 to fuse. Now, when you fuse, what happens? You flip it over to this bad boy, uh, and you have Halcor X Ramparian. Uh, core stay the same, obviously, and for four energy, you get uh, 800B and 10 attack. Um, I mean, that is just not a lot of value there for you, but I mean, you know, it looks really cool. I mean, these cards are gorgeous. Uh, they're full art. Um, they're not hollow or anything, but they are full art and really cool. Moving on, we get a Pegatrix Gillator, the other uh, Bakugan in the set. Uh, it's 402. Uh, and if you land on a either of the cores that it comes with, you get to fuse. So this is one of the core uh, fusers that people are saying could possibly be good. Uh, if you land on one of those cores, you go up to 803. And so I guess if you have this 500 fuse core, uh, you go up a little bit. But, um, I mean... It could do something, I guess. Um, but just the cores it comes with, yeah, I don't think it's going to get you much. But uh, the art on here is dope. I mean, look at Pegatrix and Gillator at the same time. <laughs> uh, looking really cool. Not bad, not bad. Let's see, we get some stuff here. What is this? Baku Strength. Whoa, this is hollow. Oh, this is like Bakugan Elite hollow. Wow. Look at that. Baku Strength. Six cost plus 1300B. That's pretty cool. Six cost, I mean, you know, I mean, if you, I, you could super fuel and then play it for cheaper. I don't know. I haven't really been playing much Bakugan yet, so my brain's not working right, but I can't tell if this is good or not. But 1300B is something pretty to look at, I guess. Very cool. All hollow and everything, man. I like that. Wow. That's a gorgeous card. Sorry. Uh, are they all hollow? They are. Whoa. These packs are dope. I didn't even know that. Let's go. All right. Darkest Destroyers. Two cost. Uh, gear. 
Um, it's going to give you 200 B and uh, one extra attack, and also gives you Shadow Strike. And it's got that Dragonoid art on there, Dragonoid Treacherous. And look at the Hollow, man. That's actually pretty sick. Big fan. Big fan. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Next, uh, we have Baku Spring with C Moga. Shout out to Alex Simo, the boy. Um, haven't heard from him in a while, but you know, <laughs> the boy, <laughs> C Moga. Uh, one cost, uh, Shadow Strike, and draw one. Um, so, I mean, could be worse, right? But look at these hollows, man. I'm so pumped about these hollows. I had no idea. And now we, oh, this card's sick. It's got Trox on it. Trox Cyrus, hello. Very good, very exciting. Oh man, this art is sick. Man, if I could pull that off and then do my little Trox thing to it, I think I have an idea for what I'm going to be doing. Hey, all slashers. Sorry, I'm getting used to this camera thing, but uh, four energy for Frost Strike and 400B and no attack. So, um, constant Frost Strike. You can play this for two with the cores. I don't know if this is getting you what you want, but it, it's not the worst thing if you're trying to maybe focus Frost Strike for some reason. Uh, could gonna get you something so uh very cool um but let's go ahead and go into the drag uh no sorry we're gonna take a look at the bakugan themselves so first up we have pegatrix gillator she's a pretty girl so check it out um she has this special paint on her wings right that is like hexagons right and that's kind of what these target packs do they have like special designs on them and like it's all gold so it's it's uh, Oralis Gillator right so it's Chaos Oralis so we get the gold paint on there um, but man she does look pretty cool get a good look at her here silver on the little wings there not bad not bad getting a good look at her here I'm looking over to the left because that's where my monitor is for my camera now but uh, yeah, the silver and the gold really set this thing off. Let's get a, a flat standing version. So, pretty cool. Big fan. Pegatrix looking good. No Baka girls happy. So, cool. Alright, that's Pegatrix Gillator. And now we have Halcor Ramparian. The black and gold, guys. Wow. Actually, looks really sick. Get a good look at the faces here. Actually, pretty cool, man. Yeah, this thing's cool. It's still got three heads for Halcor. Cerberus in action. Um, and that paint job is on the side here for that special thing. So it's got Darkus, and on the other side it has Auralis. So that's pretty cool. So I can roll this thing up. Um, head goes down, feet go up. Seems pretty simple. Close it down, and there you go. So ball form. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Kind of plain in the middle. You go through the middle, not much happening, but on the sides you got these cool darkest and uh, the gold and purple and black. Hey, uh, I forgot to say, uh, these come with gear too. So here's Pegatrix Gillator with her gear. Um, we've seen these before on some other Bakugan, but uh, I definitely forgot about these in the pack for some reason. But uh, I forgot what gear it's called. I forgot they have names or not, but uh, let's also take a look at Halcor. All right, so not a big fan of this one because it covers up all that cool gold work they put on there, which is the whole point of me getting these. Uh, so I'm probably not going to display these with the gear on them. Probably Peg Pegatrix because it actually looks pretty good. But you're covering up all that gold. I don't know, maybe it kind of looks cool. More I look at it, more I dig it. We're cool. All right, so let's move on to Dragonoid Nilius. All right, uh, sorry for the really zoomed in look at my face, but um, we're going to look at the cores for the Dragonoid Nilius set. Uh, so you're going to get yourself... A red fist, a red shield, and two green fists. And off the bat, you get a 250 plus three red fist. Very good, very nice. Um, the uh, classic, you get you a 200 red shield. All good. Um, and two really crappy green fists. Funny, right? Uh, green fists normally pretty crappy. Uh, let's take a look at the cards. I was really happy with the cards last time I looked at the cards. Um, these should also make me happy. So, um, we just got normal boring character cards here. Just a Drago. Uh, we've seen this before, obviously. 404, uh, Green Fist, plus 6. Nothing good. Now we have Darkest Nilius, which is Red Shield, Red Fist. 
for 405. Um, like I said, I think there's rapid fire implications here. Uh, I don't really remember. But now we're getting to the fancy cards. We get a Pyru Cannon. Pyra Cannon, Pyru Cannon. And it's in that awesome Bakugan Elite foiling. And I love it, man. It's so nice. Two cost, 100B, plus two attack. I'm pretty sure I know that this one is not good. Now we have Baku Spin Blast. Cool, cool. Um, this is a three cost action. Uh, and what is he doing? He's shooting fire at... I don't know, who is that? Who is that? I can't really see who it is. Oh, I think it's Centipod. Yeah, it's Centipod, I think. I don't know. I don't like to speak in <laughs> indefinites. Uh, but you get a three cost uh, draw one plus double strike. So I don't know, maybe if you're focusing double strike for a deck. Uh, but look at the foiling here. Ladies and gentlemen. Very, very nice. Moving on, we have Scorching Swords. Uh, a, a, uh, a, a memorable card. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Sorry. Uh, two cost. Uh, Shadow Strike plus 100 plus 1. Um, you can play this for free with the gear reduction. Um, so that's a thing. Uh, and it's full art. Wings are kind of coming off the art of the card, which is pretty, pretty cool. Very nice. And last up, we have Darkest Fist, which has Nilius in all his glory, uh, beating up something. I can't really see what's back there. What's back there? Uh, Cindius, actually. So, Nilius uh, beating up Cindius. Very cool. Six cost, 13 damage. Don't know what you're going to try to do with that, but six cost, 13 damage. I guess if you're playing damage wins, you could just completely destroy your opponent. Um... But that doesn't seem value to me. Anyway, there is Darkest Fist. Now, uh, I put the gear on the Bakugan already. Uh, so first we're going to look at Nilius, And I am a big fan of this Nilius. Uh, let's get him in focus. There we go. Alright, so I went ahead and put the gear on. Because Nilius looks dope with his gear. And this one is really cool. Of course we have the classic Nilius uh, two-toned eyes. And what's cool about this one is they did not paint his little mouths here, right? Because I'm pretty certain on the normal one, uh, his mouths are painted. So they actually left them all black, which is dope. Uh, and then the real treat on this one is when you look at the top, you look at his wings. He has that cool design on his wings and also on the tops of his heads. Uh, and that is what we are here for, boys and girls. Um, looking really cool, man. I really like this. The darkest symbols in green. Um, He's got a little more metallic down here, and on his butt, he's got those. So this actually looks really cool in ball form. If I take the gear off. Alright, close up Nilius normal way. Here, here. And in ball form, it's just all that, like, paint job. And it's so cool. I love these, man. When I first saw these, I was really excited about them. Because, I mean, I still do like collecting these things. Um... So these are really awesome. They did a really cool job on these. Uh, I'm glad they kind of worked it out with Target to make them exclusive, make them a little more interesting in the collector's eye, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's Nilius. So now let's take a look at Dragonoid. Um, Dragonoid Core. Uh, I went ahead and put his gear on as well. Um, but we have the boy here. The main character. The main dude himself, Dragonoid. So um, this one has the designs as well. But they're not in, like, metallic, like the Nilius. I really like that they did his tail. His tail's in the design, too. Um, and the uh, symbol here is green. That's pretty dope. Um, but, you know, take a good look at him, man. He's pretty sick. Um, big fan. Bakugir really works well on him, I think, in my opinion. Um, but what we're here for, of course, are these wings. The designs on the wings. It's really sick. And then, obviously, when we put them in ball form, it's probably going to look just as cool as the Nilius. Do that for you real quick. All right. Um, drag our head down. There, there, there. And then now we see his design on his wings is there, and it's pretty cool, man. Yeah. I think the Nilius maybe is cooler. I mean, you can see his tail there, which is pretty cool. Um... And that's really it. You see the wings and the tail, and that's pretty much all that you see that's different. And of course the faction symbol. Uh, but yeah, so, um, 
I'm really happy with these. Let's wrap this up. All right. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, these are really cool, man. Uh, if you can get to one of your targets and find these things, they, once again, are target exclusive. You get a bunch of really cool, like, hex foil cards, which I didn't even know. I guess I didn't read the packaging. Um, but And you also get, like, these really cool repainted versions of some old Bakugan that we love. And, obviously, uh, some fusions that uh, people are starting to uh, really enjoy. So, um, I think it's really cool. They're relatively cheap. They're just two packs. So, I don't remember what I paid for them, to be honest with you. Um, I just kind of picked them up out of... Uh, the enjoyment of finding them on the shelves after all the time that I haven't gotten anything on my shelves. So, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this Bakugan video. Um, we're doing Bakugan. We're doing Digimon. We got, you know, there's always a crazy chance I might throw up a Pokemon video on the channel. Who knows? <laughs> uh, and we got some board game stuff coming up soon. As soon as I can find a good day where I can record and sit down and do all these board games, I got some board games from Spin Master, uh, and I want to show them off to you because they are sick. Um, but thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of new people, a lot of new faces on the channel. Um, thank you for being here. Uh, we also do Bakugan on this channel. I know y'all are coming from Digimon. So, um, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and if you're new to Bakugan, check it out. It's fun. It's got a card game and, uh, it's got cool little toys. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later in the next video. Bye.